We've seen Assassin's Creed cover a lot of settings and time periods, from the Italian Renaissance to the American Revolution, from ancient Egypt to the Third Crusade. But the world has a lot of history, and as such, there's still a lot of places the series can and should go. With the announcement that AC is finally going to feudal Japan, I thought I'd go over some other lesser mentioned time periods and settings that this series still hasn't touched. Before we begin, I would really appreciate it if you could hit like, and if you're new here, make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on. Without further ado, here are the settings that Assassin's Creed needs to go to. When I was studying, I wrote my dissertation on the history of South Africa, and the entire time I was researching this fascinating place, I couldn't help but think this would make a great setting for AC. Listen, I'm a massive fucking dork, that's been well established. The Second South African Boer War is one of the most important events of the early 20th century, despite rarely being recognised as such. It saw very early developments of the guerrilla warfare that would define the century's conflicts, as the British Empire fought the Boer Republic over the control of South Africa between 1899 and 1902. The Boers, descendant of the Dutch colonisers of South Africa, retained control over the area until the 1800s, before the British established power over it and began to severely oppress both the Afrikaans-speaking Dutch and the native African population. What's most interesting about these wars though was that they were the first time we ever saw the modern implementation of concentration camps, developed in large part by Winston Churchill to imprison the Boers and the Africans, which led to approximately 50,000 deaths within the internment camps. Of course, everyone's familiar with the idea of concentration camps, but seeing their initial implementation by the British would be an interesting spin that would play perfectly into the assassin goals of freedom. The techniques of guerrilla warfare also mirror the assassin techniques well, and it would prevent the game from throwing in too many traditional pitch battles like we saw in AC3. The only real downside I see in this setting is a lack of opportunity for great parkour. However, at this point, we've seen plenty of these games have that same problem, and I believe as long as there's at least some segments in the world that work for interesting movement, the game wouldn't suffer too much from it. The best case scenario I could see is this game presenting us a native African assassin forced to work with the Boers, who they themselves hated the African population, creating a moral conflict that could run throughout the entire game, as our protagonist would be forced to fight for freedom of the Boers even if it ultimately led to the oppression of his own people, which of course it did with the apartheid regime. In my opinion, this is probably the closest the series could get to the modern day without being too technological, and the moral dilemmas it would present would be too good to give up. Now obviously, the Spanish Inquisition has technically already been explored in the series in the Assassin's Creed movie. However, who the fuck cares about the Assassin's Creed movie? The fact of the matter is, that movie is focused far more on Callum Lynch and the modern day narrative, as opposed to the story of Aguilar, so much so that we barely got a look at who Aguilar was as a character, and I believe this time period has so much more to give within the confines of a game. A time period reminiscent of the Ezio games, with potential parallels being able to be woven into the story. Hell, early on in the Inquisition, Ezio himself travelled to Spain to free assassins who'd been imprisoned, meaning that there would be a possibility of a cameo of the face of the franchise. The structures of Spain are perfect for gameplay, especially in parkour, with that classic, tightly packed European city style allowing for a fully fleshed out freerunning system that we've not seen nearly enough in recent times. In the same vein as the return to roots that Mirage was, a game in the Spanish Inquisition could bring fans back to the peak of the series, and explore what was touched on in the movie in even greater depth. Some people have mentioned the series potentially going to Mongol China during the 11th and 12th century, a setting that we saw Altair travel to, and although this would be a fascinating period to go to, I'd be slightly more interested in seeing China in the years after the Mongol Empire, during the Wan Dynasty in the late 13th and early 14th century. Of course, we've seen elements of the Chinese Brotherhood, both with Assassin's Creed Jade exploring the life of Wei Yu and the Chronicles of China exploring the life of Xiao Yun, but seeing a game set in between would allow us to see how that Brotherhood developed. We could see how the technologies of the Eastern Brotherhood grew. As well as this, we could also see an assassin be responsible for the beginning of the destruction of the Empire, perhaps partnering with the many rebellious groups such as the Loyalists of the Song Dynasty and the Ming Dynasty in the mid-1300s, which led to the Wan retreating back to Mongolia in 13 1970. Assassin's Creed is known for going to the most historically significant historical events, but seeing a game in a slightly less notable but still historically fascinating setting could be an interesting change that would allow for a more intricate look of the development of the Creed across the world. And finally, we have yet another game set in London. The game we never got. The game we deserve. The Arno sequel that could have made up for Unity's sins, and could have made Arno one of the greatest characters we've ever seen. But you know what? 
I think I'll leave you all on the edge of your seats and make a full video on the Assassin's Creed game we all missed out on. If you guys would like to see that video, get this video to 100 likes and also comment down below and let me know. Tell me what you want to see. If you enjoyed this video and you're new, make sure to subscribe with post notifications turned on. And I would also like to say a thank you to my patrons over on patreon.com forward slash founded scarab. If you'd like to support there and see a Patreon exclusive playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity, please do check the link in the description. With that being said, I've been Joe, aka Founded Scarab, and I'll see you in the next one.